Hello, my fellow anti bottom fighters, and welcome back for more Total Odyssey with Conan's Bot. Last time we took on and beat the ancient temple, and today we're back to Coral Paradise. Yeah, I don't actually know what the story is trying to accomplish here, like honestly speaking, why we are back in the Coral Paradise. But as we shown off last episode, after beating Mr. Trident Guy, yes, that is his name from now on. Although I gave him the, the rock voice, that doesn't mean I'm gonna actually give him a badass name because I suck at coming up with names. We get a new weapon! Ozzy now has a projectile attack. So it, it's a it's a homing based attack. Somewhat sort of like um the eggs in Yoshi's Island. The shorter you hold down, the shorter the arc. So it's sort of like the cannon fish if you wanna be that exact. The best part is you can finally kill those sea urchins. So yes. Again, I don't actually know why we are back here, like honestly speaking, why we are back in the freaking core paradise. In fact, the story doesn't actually give you much of an indication of why as well. I mean like, the best thing we got was that Mr. Trident guy was, uh, for some reason decided that, um, I was a threat. Ozzy is a threat, not I was a threat. If only I can be a threat in real life, we wish. And for some reason, Ozzy is back, even though he was at the temple with the Tasmans. Actually, I believe according to the story, the ancient temple actually has a com- It's actually located somewhere else or some nonsense, I don't know. The story of Turtle Odyssey isn't the best, the second game had a better story. So yes, we are back in Turtle Odyssey- uh, Coral Paradise, gee. Only this time with a projectile attack. So yes. We can finally get rid of these stupid sea urchins, I guess. Yeah, so this thing of this like a second quest somewhat, although it's still part of the main game. Yeah, it's still somewhat tough, I guess. But um, the fact that we have this overpowered... Uh, also, yes, notice that there's we have different... Yeah, that finally hit it. Yeah, you can aid... The health potions have different sizes. So yes, this is actually pretty dang tough, I'm not gonna lie. The, the second quest is actually pretty tough. Although we have a projectile attack, once again you can actually still um... <laughs> I, li I like aiming melee like that. It's like I wait for them to be right next to me, then there's no way they can dodge my projectiles. Yeah, again I don't actually know why um... Ozzy is back here, I mean like... He doesn't really have a reason to be back in the Coral Paradise. Again, my best bet is my best guess is that after the battle with Mr. Trident guy, Mr. Trident guy sent him back or some nonsense. I really have no flipping clue. Like honestly and seriously speaking, I have no freaking clue. clue. Also, we have a secret over there in case you couldn't see the air pockets. And there's also something over there, which I completely missed. I guess I can backtrack. I guess, I, I don't know, I, I, I've, I've lost my chance. The air pockets only last once, so it's a sort of one-time deal, the air pockets. Yikes. So yeah, now that we can kill the sea urchins, I'm very, very glad for that, because trust me, I hate those enemies, like, so freaking much. But yeah, as you can see, the second half of the game, as in case you can't really see, yes, this is World 5-1. It's a lot more open space than uh, earlier on. Like, as you can see, so much more branching pathways and stuff like that. Yeah, the second half of the game is a lot bigger. That's why I was saying this is somewhat like a Metroidvania style game because of the second half. The second half... Oh, for the love of... Never mind. The second half is pretty... sleek. Okay. Yeah, uh, this aiming thing doesn't get gets on my nerve because I really suck at aiming. I suck at aiming in Yoshi's Island. I suck here too. My best bet is actually just staying next to an enemy and then right when it's about to nail me, I nail it. Like this. It's, it's pretty reliable actually. And that was World 5 this one. So again, as you can see in the map, we now have the location of the temple. So again, my best bet on the story is that Aussie backtracked all the Mr. Trident guy made Aussie backtrack all the way to um all the way back to freaking Core Paradise with his men. 
And now Ozzy must return back to co back to the ancient temple, basically. Yeah, this 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 thing isn't really that reliable, but as you can see, we not sort of like the actual second quest in Sonic. We now have a ton more enemies. Like holy crap, seriously. So yes, this is definitely much harder than the first half of the game. This is where they start being a bit douchey. Like you see, I completely missed my chance to get those trailers there because I missed the, I missed the hidden what's the word called? I completely missed the hidden platform. Also, yikes! So many places to go. Oh boy. And whoa! Look at these flowers. I'm dead. I somehow was not hit by that. No, not gonna question it. We again, just like uh, just like um, what's the word called? Just like Yoshi's Island. I kind of suck at aiming this thing, but whatever. That's why my best bet is just being next to an enemy or jumping. Jumping still reliable. I'll probably just jump for minor enemies because aiming this thing kind of sucks. Okay, and yeah. See? Nothing too hard. Once again, um... Also, you might have noticed that, um... The Coral Paradise, as I already mentioned, is much meaner in this incarnation, but... That said, um, it's still the Coral Paradise. It's still not too bad. So yeah. As you can see, yeah, by now they expect you to be sort of an expert at the game. Like, they put treasures here, there, everywhere, and then they're like... Hey, you want that treasure? You want it, don't you? How are you ever gonna get it? Ooh, you must know that there's a hidden spring over here. So you must be pretty exploratory with this game and all of this sort of stuff. That's why I said... Yeah, this game is a somewhat treasure hunting based game. If anything, I can liken it to the Great Cave Offensive in uh, Kirby Superstar. Sort of, I guess. It's more of a platformer in the end. I still stand that it's a platform game. It's not like anything too puzzly. In At its heart, this is a platform game, basically. Oh. Even though, yeah, as you can see, yeah, the second half of the game is a lot meaner, but they also have a lot more treasure secrets and uh, open-ended exploration, so yeah. Sort of a giveaway. It's sort of a... Wow, would you look at that. This is when you want to use your freaking projectile attack, I guess. Or just jump over them, that works as well. Alright, let's see, let's just jump over these guys. And there we go! That's level complete! Phew. Wow, this game is getting tough! This is the core of paradise, this is World 1. Somehow World 1, the same core of paradise team, became a douchebag level. Look, look at this design. Can you imagine this being World 1? No, I can't. That's why I say I liken this to second quest in a Mario game. <clears throat> Alright. Look at the freaking flowers. Freaking everywhere. Also, I found a secret. It wasn't too much, that much of a secret. Yeah, secrets are paramount in this... In this, in this world. Sort of, I guess. Not particularly because, um, I mean just like compared to earlier on, there are much more secrets uh, right now. Compared to like, world, I don't know, 4 or something. Yeah, there are much more secrets, much more treasures in the second half of the game. It's like they really expect Ozzy to be a treasure hunter now. Also, yes, okay, what's down here? Treasure is down here. Treasure shall be mine. <laughs> okay, so let's actually go and get the diamond now. I think I pretty much said whatever I can s already say about the second quest. And this thing is pretty weird with its aiming. That's why I just like to be right next to an enemy and then timing it somewhat right. Or jumping. Jumping works. The problem is for sea urchins, you have to use your projectile attack to kill them. I prefer the projectile attack in Turtle Odyssey 2. It's a boomerang, it's much more reliable than an up base projectile attack. See, I have to like be right freaking next to the sea urchin. Is that really a secret? This game is numbing me to what a secret is. It's like, hey, you found a secret, but it's 
right there. Is it really a secret? Or I just saying that to make me feel good? Instant gratification. That's what our generation has been reduced to, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, there's something down there. Let's see. Yeah, most of the time I just prefer just like pressing control. I don't even bother aiming. Because like if I'm right next to it, it's gonna hit. Like I'm gonna wait for the. Yeah, this is this timing is kind of uh, it's kind of mean. I must admit, the timing of the projectile attack is kind of mean. You can't spam it like in Turtle Odyssey 2. Turtle Odyssey 2 is a boomerang, so yes, you still can't spam it. You have to wait for the boomerang to come back before you can spam your projectile attack again. But I still prefer the boomerang actually, honestly. Like the boomerang attack feels easier to aim because it hits right in front of you. You can even jump when. Just like the projectile attack, you can even jump while you're using the boomerang, but... Yeah, so that's basically all I can say about Coradice. Coral Paradise. You can finally get rid of the sea urchins, but because of that exact same reason, sea urchins are freaking everywhere in the second half of the game. So yeah, that's exactly why I said like way back in like episode 1, I freaking hate sea urchins. Because they are infested in the later half of the game. Also, yeah, enem enemy position and design become a bit more douchey in the later half of the game as well. Yeah, there we go. And... nope, didn't hit him at all. Okay, there's a checkpoint down here, so I want to hit it. Okay, where should I go? It's pointing me right, I guess I should hit right! So much for hitting right, look at this nonsense. Yeah, the, the second half of the game is pretty infested with enemies every freaking where. Also, there's treasure down here, which I want to get. And I think I have to backtrack back. Yeah, look at this. Okay, this is somewhat of a maze now. I really have no idea where I'm going. Alright, there we go. Yeah, the timing for nailing sea urchins, you can actually nail them when you're right next to you. It's sort of like a... In the sense, it's sort of like a melee attack, like an axe or something like that. Because if you're right next to an enemy, it is possible to nail them. But uh, more often than not, you'll get hit when you're doing that, so I prefer actually um, just plain using the... Oh, really? I just walked in a big circle! I just... Except for sea urchins where you kind of have to do it, I prefer jumping on enemies, really. Yeah, that includes the rifle, fish, and whatever. Also, it appears that I'm heading the wrong freaking way. Holy crap, I'm gonna run out of air at this rate. Yeah, this... The second half of the game's pretty dang mean. Okay, there we go. That's the way we're supposed to go. Only problem is, I have to make this jump. Okay. Ah, I see it now. Here's where I'm supposed to go. Another secret. Is it really a secret? It's kinda easy to spot. And there we go! That was level 5 that's 3 complete, and Color Paradise is getting on my nerves! So if you enjoyed this episode of Turtle Odyssey with Conan Spot and our new projectile attack, do feel free to hit that like button, comment down your thoughts, and share this video. And next time we're gonna carry on with 5 4 and Color Paradise.